Hello and welcome, all of you students. Let's begin with the next uh, topic uh, from the unit four. Uh, that is the operating system. Last time we have started with this unit, and last time we have discussed the uh, number of important things from this unit, like uh, what is the operating system, uh, history of the operating system, the examples of the operating system. Uh, then also we have discussed the various function performed by the operating system. and uh, last part that we have discussed in previous lecture that was uh, services provided by the operating system uh, for the users based on the various functionality of the operating system so today so today we'll uh, discuss about the uh, different types of the operating system now there are the various uh, more than 10 types are there related with the operating system so out of that we will see the some of the important types of the operating system okay and uh, so uh, in the two parts we will discuss this point so today we will discuss the first part related with the different types of the operating system okay and then in the next lecture we will discuss the remaining types of the operating system as last time already we have discussed the uh, what is exactly the operating system is and uh, already we have discussed the operating system is nothing but the uh, interface between the uh, user and the uh, hardware so it is act as a communication bridge between the uh, or interface between the user and the computer hardware and uh, operating system is a kind of system program uh, on which the application programs can be get executed okay properly and also we have just discussed the main task uh, now our operating system perform the various tasks but out of that only the main task is nothing but the uh, allocation of resources and the services so what are the resource allocation that operating system operating system has to do like uh, uh, allocation of uh, memory then uh, various input output devices uh, then the processor information so allocation of all these resources resources that is considered as one of the important uh, uh, tasks being performed by the operating system then operating system has also uh, now in order to perform these different tasks operating system has a different program that last time i told you operating system is nothing but the uh, collection of different kind of modules okay operating system has a system program which consist of the various kind of modules okay uh, in the operating system there are the different modules software modules are there in order to conduct the different functionality of the operating system like to keep keep the track of the process status how many process currently executing and all these things the the particular uh, software module is there uh, as a part of the system program operating system is the traffic controller program is there then process scheduler is there to schedule the processes okay if more than one processes are there for execution then uh, how the process how to choose the uh, processes out of number of multiple processes for execution so to do, do that kind of scheduling a scheduler program is there that is a part of the operating system then memory management program or memory memory, memory management uh, module is also there uh, to manage the memory Uh, for which particular process how much memory should be get allocated and after finishing of that process how to be allocate that all the things being done through the memory management module then uh, input output uh, programs are there to handle the input output devices uh, okay then file system programs is also there uh, as a part of the operating system uh, as you know the file system through the file system program we can able to store the data uh, through using the some folder files on our uh, secondary memory and as well as you can retrieve the data whenever you want you can search the data okay so that in order to manage all these thing file system is there okay without the file system then you have to uh, load the data on the uh, on on particular like what you can say on the single storage okay uh, but uh, this file system help us to store the data in the systematic way that is the main use of the file system otherwise you have to store the all the data combinedly 
okay at the single place but uh, as you know the on the hard disk you know so on the hard disk we uh, permanently store the data and uh, you know to store this data on the hard disk permanently in the systematic way using some folders naming that folders okay giving the access control to that folder files that all the things possible using the file system so that is also one of the important programming is there in the which is the part of the operating system so with the help of this uh, program the different resources can be easily managed by the operating system then uh, we have the uh, as you know the different applications like browser ms office notepad games notepad games these all the things if you want to run on the uh, computer machine then you need the operating system there is a no alternative for that okay so in short we can say the operating system help us to communicate with the computer even you uh, can't able to speak the computer language but you can communicate with the computer language with the help of uh, operating system so it is uh, it is not possible for user to use any computer or the mobile device without having the operating system so these are the introductory part that last time also we have discussed just as a recap i have just uh, go through this okay now today is our point of discussion in the thing but the uh, different types of the operating system okay so totally eight operating system we will uh, we are going to discuss okay related with this point but in the today's lecture we will just discuss about this four operating system and then the next lecture we'll discuss the remaining so first operating system of the batch operating system then the multi programming operating system multi processing operating system and the time sharing operating system okay so let's uh, discuss these operating system uh, one by one okay so first uh, operating system that we are having that is a uh, multi programming operating system uh, sorry the batch operating system now as you can see the name given to this operating system is a batch now this is a very uh, old kind of operating system is, is it is okay on uh, in the period of 19 uh, uh, what we can say when there was a no modernization of computer uh, this kind of operating system uh, is in the use in the period of 1960 70 okay so name given to this operating system is a batch operating system okay now before we see the technical details related with, <coughs> related with this operating system uh, we just see the real life example and we will try to apply this example to how this batch operating system works now you must have heard about the banking uh, work in the bank how the work goes on now you know the when you uh, go to the bank uh, suppose you want to deposit some check in the bank so you go to the bank okay and put that check in that particular uh, box or give that check to the particular uh, hum uh, human uh, operator is there uh, or the human employee is there you give that check to that person but uh, uh, and that uh, at that point only your check is not get clear because what happened that uh, person as a check operator who is there in the bank as a employee now he used to collect all the checks okay he used to collect all the checks and then uh, after collecting the check uh, he process that all the checks okay at the same time so that is the thing uh, the way here you can see the there is a uh, employee as a operator in the bank who collect all the check and then he make the batch of uh, he make the group of all that checks group or the batch batch means collecting uh, ba what batch what is the meaning of batch batch means collecting the similar things together okay forming a group or the batch so then he collect that all the checks and make the group of that all the checks and then he process it depends on uh, depends on the similarity be similarity between that checks okay so same thing is there uh, in case of the batch operating system also okay so in the old days uh, as you can see uh, the resources were very less okay resources were very limited computer resources means what uh, like you can see the memory was very limited primary memory limited secondary memory limited processing power was also not so high so because of this uh, limitation of uh, resources uh, there was a lot of problem in the processing the uh, processing the things from the computer 
whatever works that you need to be completed from the computer there was a lot of limitation because of limitation of resources okay and uh, the main thing is main thing is what today you can directly interact with the computer and uh, uh, suppose you want to do some program of c or c++ you can directly go to the computer you open the editor write the program compile it and get execute and see the result but that was not the thing uh, in the old days uh, because of the uh, because of the less availability of resources and uh, all the limitations so there was a no direct interaction of uh, user with the computer system okay so the in case of these operating system the same thing is there user who is using the batch operating system cannot have the or do not interact with the computer directly okay means he can interact with the computer through some operator okay if you want if in that old days if you want to do some program then you can interact with the computer only using some operators just like the example of check i told you you cannot direct you cannot uh, go to the bank and clear your check by your own you have to give that check to that particular operator person who is there so same thing is there in the batch operating system in the old days you cannot directly interact with the computer system okay as uh, this is your computer system but you have to give your work to that particular operator okay here you can see if there are the multiple users 1 then 3 4 5 6 7 up to the n so if there are the such n number of users are there each user is having their one uh, have, each user is having their some work to be get completed from computer each user is having their job to be completed from the computer okay and so the jobs like each user will consider the one job so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 understood so each user with their job has to be communicate with the operator the physical person okay and uh, then that operator will sort that job so operator will do the sorting of the job so here you can see this is the batch 1 and this is the batch 2 now in the batch 1 1 2 4 <laughs> jobs are there i hope you are getting the meaning of batch batch means grouping of uh, grouping the meaning of the batch is simply the grouping to simplify the task in our uh, uh, college also we do the batches of the student like uh, if there are 60 student we do the batches of 20 20 20 each so that in the during the practical session we can have the better interaction with the student okay so batching is nothing but the doing the grouping of similar things okay so now here the same thing is happening now as you can see the user submit their work to the operator then operator do the batching of these particular jobs on based on the similarity of the job now consider here 1 to 7 uh, users are there with their 1 to 7 jobs and user 1 and 4 user 1 and 4 how to execute the c program user 1 and 4 have to execute the c program on the uh, computer machine and there are the user 2 5 and 7 these users have to execute the c++ program on the computer okay so then what happen in the batch operating system so batch of whenever the all the users submit their job to the operator then what the operator does operator do the grouping of the jobs which is having the similar need do the grouping of the job which is having the similar need so he group the job 1 and 4 because the 1 and 4 user having their job is nothing but to execute the c program on the system and he group the 2 5 7 user job in the batch 2 because they want to execute the c++ so this is nothing but the grouping of the job which are having the similar needs and then the jobs are being submitted to the computer system and then the jobs get executed okay so same thing i have written here the user who is using the batch operating system in the old days so this is a old kind of operating system do not interact with the computer directly so you cannot interact with the computer directly you have to submit your job through the operator so and so each user prepare its job on offline on the certain device like punch card and submit it to the computer operator i will tell you about the punch card okay so to speed up the processing job with the similar needs are batched together just like here jobs this is the c c program execution jobs of the user and this is the c++ okay so 
so the job with the similar needs are bash together and run as a group the programmer exit their job with the operator and the operator then to sort the sort that particular jobs or the program with the similar requirements into the program okay so here each user has to create their job first okay and after creating the job it has to submit that to the operator then operator do the sorting of the job based on the similar needs and then submit it to the computer system and then that, that particular job get executed okay so main thing you can uh, understand from this discussion the com the user don't have direct interaction with the computer system just like in the today's day in the modern days today with the modern computer you can see you can directly interact with the computer but in the old days uh, because of the unavailability or the limitation of resources such thing was not possible and that is the reason that time the batch operating system were utilized so what is the actual sequence first a user has to prepare its job offline on the punch card okay so this is the punch card i have shown you now what do you mean by the punch card punch card is nothing but the one uh, uh, hard on the particular hard paper the user uh, has to write their program okay user has to write their program okay and then that program has to submit to the computer operator okay so first we understand what exactly is the punch card okay so punch card is like uh, here you can see uh, here you can see the scenario of the punch card so this is the punch card on this punch card different digits are there and some holes also you can see okay some holes also you can see so uh, so these holes is having some particular meaning on the punch card so here i have mentioned a punch card is a piece of stiff paper stiff paper in the sense hard paper okay that hold the digital data represented by the presence or absence of holes in the predefined position so this this particular uh, uh, holes represent the presence of data or the absence of data so this hole hole indicate the one and uh, the unhole position indicate the zero okay so in this way uh if the user want to write their program so uh, that program is write, read, get written on this kind of stiff paper that is considered as a punch card and this uh, on this stiff paper or the punch card data is represented by the presence or absence of the holes as i told you the hole in hole indicate hole indicate the one okay and unhole position indicate the zero as you can see here okay so punch cards were used uh, so in that days as i told you the resources resources were limited and that is the reason punch cards were used for entering your program or data into the computers okay nowadays if you want to do the program you directly go to the computer system you open the editor then you write the program okay that when you write the program when you save it it gets saved on the hard disk when you want to execute it, it that program uh, go into the primary memory and then your execution will happen but in the old days that is not the thing resources were limited primary memory or limited secondary memory was limited and that is the reason the help of the punch card uh, were taken where user has to write their program whatever things you want to complete from the computer that everything he has to uh, write there on uh, that every task he has to mention on that stiff paper that is the punch card uh, which is in, which is being utilized to represent the digital data Uh, and that is represented by presence or absence of holes okay in some particular different position okay here you can see so after a user write their data on this punch cards so this punch cards we are used for entering your program or data into the computer means whatever work you want to complete from the computer that work you need to mention it here on the punch cards okay then how this punch cards actually works okay why the name is given to the punch punch cards because you know uh, reason behind that is what the some positions are being get punched some are unpunched punch in the sense holes are make on that particular card to represent the digital data okay now how this punch card actually works so to load the program or read the uh, punch card data there is a utilization of punch card reader okay just like card reader you must have heard there is a use of punch card reader on the computer system to input the data from card into the computer okay so user will create their job okay user will create their job with the help of the punch card then they submit their job to the operator okay then the jobs were get batch based on their need as i told you here example of this is the c plus c and this is the c plus plus 
job that to be completed then these are submitted to the computer system here and in this computer system there is a punch card reader used to be there what punch card reader so as the card is inserted so you have to insert the card in this machine as the card is inserted there the punch card reader start on the uh, on the top uh, left side of the card reading vertically from top to bottom so reading start from this top left side of the card okay here you can see the reading start from here top left of the card top to bottom vertically from top to bottom one by one these all the things get read by the system okay through the punch card reader and then the user will get certain kind of output okay so that is the whole thing is there related with the batch operated operating system so why the name given is a batch operating system reason behind that here the jobs are get uh, sort out based on the need and they are grouped together into the batch and then is given to the uh, particular system and then it get executed so main important thing in this is nothing but the in batch operating system there was a utilization of punch card and the punch card reader because of the uh, limitation of resources available and on the punch card the user uh, has to uh, mention whatever work that user need to complete it from the computer system so okay user has to enter their program and data into the uh, punch card were used for entering your program or data into the mainframe computer so whatever data you need to enter on the computer that that everything you need to mention on the punch card okay this is the punch card and then this is get inserted into the computer and then your job get completed so that is all about the uh, first and old kind of operating system that is the batch operating system so based on the working style of the batch operating system there are the uh, advantages and disadvantages of batch operating system are there so if you can see first first advantage is what processor of the batch system are aware of the time duration of the job even when it is present in the queue okay so the particular uh, uh, with the user who is submitting their job to the operator okay and then waiting for its job to be completed then so that particular processor who is going to the process the job he completely knows about the uh, time duration of the job how means whenever user is submitting their job at that time only user has to uh, specify the particular uh, what exactly job is understood and based on that the processor can determine how much time that job is going to be required so that is the advantage uh, point here ki processor exactly know the how much time or time duration is going to be required to complete that job so that uh, awareness is there for the processor that is what i have mentioned the processor of the batch system are aware of time duration of the job even when it is present in the queue okay so uh, processor uh, knows everything about that uh, time requirement of the job because operator do the analysis of all these things uh, related based on the job submitted by the user so operator based on the time requirement also the operator create the batches okay based on the needs operator create the batches and then it submit to the system so that is the reason here cpu or the processor uh, exactly knows from the operator how much time is going to be required for each particular job even the jobs are there in the waiting queue okay so that is the first advantage the processor of the batch system we are aware of the time duration of job Uh, when it is present in the queue means even these jobs are in the batch are waiting for execution processor know how much time is going to be required to execute this job that is the advantage okay in case of the batch operating system first then it enable us to manage the efficiently large load of work so whatever be the work is there whether it is a small work or the large amount of work user can create their job and submit it to the operator and as it is being submitted to the operator operator can easily manage how much amount of job to be submitted for the computer system okay so that that is the reason managing the load in case of the batch operating system we are uh, easy or efficient understood as compared with the today system because everything is in the everything is in the hand of operator okay everything depends on the operator so operator will never uh, overload the system understood in case of the batch operating system because batch operating uh, in case of the batch operating system operator knows everything 
how many jobs still to be get executed that everything uh, record is there in the op uh, to the operator so uh, managing the load load of the work that can be easily done through the operator and that is also the one of the uh, advantage of batch operating system okay then there are a lot of disadvantages here there there is a lack of interaction between the user and the there is a lot of interaction between the user and the computer okay here i should mention the computer okay there is a lack of interaction between the user and the computer user cannot directly communicate with the computer just like today you can directly communicate with the computer okay so that is the one disadvantage lack of interaction between the user and the computer system then cpu is being often idle because the speed of mechanical io devices is slower than the cpu okay so uh, uh, one is that is the quite obvious thing the most of the time cpu remains idle because here because here operator may take the time to uh, sort out the jobs and create the batch so at that time cpu may remain idle okay or even there are the some input output operation has to be performed by the input output devices so the speed of input output devices is always slower as compared to the cpu so because of the speed of the input output devices the cpu may remain idle that is also the one of the disadvantage because consider the job 1 and 4 are submitted to the cpu or the processor and these jobs required to perform some input output operation so when the jobs are performing some input output operation that time cpu remains idle okay and that is a one of the disadvantage okay also if operator not work efficiently the creation of batches not happen timely then also cpu remains idle so that is nothing but the uh, idleness uh, uh, that is nothing but the what you can say the unusability of the processor that is the uh, disadvantage of batch operating system and then uh, last uh, disadvantage is there it is difficult to provide the desired priority understood so priority cannot be assigned here to the different jobs only the things consider is nothing but what uh, the particular need of the different jobs is created uh, need of the different job is considered while creating the batch understood so the that is the reason the priority uh, is not considered here so even if the job with the high priority get submitted then it will not consider by the operator understood so that is also the uh, disadvantage that is what last it is difficult to provide the desired priority you cannot assign the priority or the precedence to the job so these are all the things uh, related with the batch operating system i hope you have understood the batch operating system okay now let's see then the next uh, operating system that is the multi programming operating system so this is considered as a one of the modern days operating system okay which is now under utilization okay in most of the computers so from the name only uh, you can understand what is exactly the uh, multi programming operating system okay now as you can see the name given as a multi programming means there is a operating system which can handle the multiple programs or multiple process or multiple tasks that is the reason this operating system is referred as a multi programming operating system so so in this example you can see easily okay these are the different jobs you can do easily like you must have experience in the real life also when you are uh, operating with the computer you are typing something some report on the machine using the word pad then uh, also uh, you are you have given some task on the uh, you have given some uh, task to the web browser to download something your email is also open then your antivirus is also open it is also doing the scanning of your computer system also you can add one more thing you are also listening the music so these are the multiple programs getting executed at a time these are the multiple process here you can see these are the multiple process being handled by the this particular operating system and such a kind of operating system is referred as the multi programming operating system where there is a only one processor is only one cpu is there only one processor is there so that is the thing i have written in the multi program system one or multiple programs one or multiple programs 
can be loaded into the main memory to get execute and the operating system which can handle more than one programs at a time that operating system is called as multi programming operating system and in case of such operating system there is a only one processor used to be there okay so this operating system share the processor when two or more programs resides in the memory that is the primary memory at the same time then such kind of operating system is referred as a multi programming operating system the operating system which share the single processor when two or more programs in their memory for the execution purpose okay so in short you can say the operating system which support the execution of more than one process at a time that particular or more uh, support the execution of more than uh, one program at a time that operating system is referred as or the multi programming operating system okay so in the multi programming operating system it assumes a single shared processor okay so multi programming uh, operating system aim is nothing but how the cpu utilization can be increased so same thing i have mentioned the multi programming increase the cpu utilization by organizing the job so that cpu always has one job to be get execute so the main aim of the multi programming operating system is nothing but what the cpu should never remain idle what cpu should never remain idle so even if you can see these jobs uh, you can see are being given to the operating system and you may, you may be uh, observing it uh, it as a these all the jobs are getting executed simultaneously but it is not like that operating system gets switch from operating system suppose operating system is allocated to the word processor then certainly then you open the email or you start working on the browser or your downloading is going on so even if you are observing this all the tasks are happening simultaneously but it is not like that operating system used to switch their control from one job to the another job okay so fastly understood that is the reason we can see that the operating system handling all the jobs simultaneously understood so in order to do these uh, all the things uh there is a utilization of process scheduling also there is a need of process scheduling in case of the multi programming operating system process scheduling in the sense how to schedule the different process or the jobs so that it can be get process simultaneously understood so the main objective of multi programming operating system is to manage entire resources of the system entire resources in the sense cpu primary memory etc etc so the op multi programming operating system become popular because it was easy to handle the multiple jobs at a time utilizing the single processors and the memory okay with the help of the what with the help of the process scheduling understood so that is nothing but the introductory part related with the what is what exactly is the multi programming operating system and how it is beneficial and what is its main aim so multi programming operating system is nothing but what the operating system which support the multiple programs to be get process at a time or multiple uh, process to be get uh, handle at a time and its aim is nothing but what aim is no aim is nothing but what the maximum utilization of cpu the cpu should never remain idle if if this job is going on on the operating system your operating system handling this job and this job required some uh, input output operation to be performed that time operating system should choose the next job so that your cpu should never remain idle so multi programming operating system increase cpu or cpu utilization by arranging the job so that cpu always has one job to be get execute in short the cpu never remains idle in case of the multi programming operating system because once the one particular program or process goes for the another work operating system select the another job instantly and give it to the processor for execution purpose so that is nothing but the multi programming operating system now so uh, as you can see here uh, you can take the example of our uh, real life work also like uh, a user can utilize the ms excel download the apps transfer the data from one point to another uh, also you can utilize the firefox google chrome browser these all the things user can do at a same time understood 
and how it has become possible that is become possible only because of multi programming operating system the nature of the operating system who can handle the job simultaneously at a time understood and how it can do it it can do it with the help of the process scheduling technique okay now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of the uh, multi programming operating system okay so its uh, advantage is what it is a main advantage as i as we discussed ki because of the multi programming operating system cpu never remain idle cpu always remains in the busy condition because of the multi programming operating system so that is its advantage advantage is what high and efficient cpu utilization very good utilization of the cpu okay user feels that many programs are allotted cpu almost simultaneously as i said operating system does the switching of the job so fastly within a microsecond because of that user feels that many programs are allotted cpu almost simultaneously but it is not that like that understood okay then there are the also disadvantages also okay those is a disadvantage is what as i said the you need to do the scheduling process scheduling or the cpu scheduling is required cpu scheduling is required so that each job will get their share of the processor each job can get the uh, share of the cpu for execution purpose so extra work need to be done that is cpu scheduling required to be get done okay uh, time management of the cpu required to be done so that each uh, job or each process will get the cpu for execution then to handle the many jobs in the memory memory management required to be done as i said single cpu has to be share so if the single cpu has to be share between the multiple process then scheduling required to be done understood as well as memory is also the single memory is available so how efficiently the primary memory can be utilized for that purpose also the memory management also required to be done so why memory management is required because each particular process or the job will get their particular amount of memory why cpu scheduling is required because each particular process or the job should get their particular share of cpu utilization then one then only the multiple programs can be get executed simultaneously so in order to make the multi programming operating system work successfully in order to make the work uh, in order to allow the multiple programs to be get handled at the same time by the operating system the two important tasks need to be done that is first the cpu scheduling and second is the memory management need to be done then only we can uh, achieve the maximum benefit from the multi programming operating system okay then third important operating system we are having here that is the uh, multi processor multi processing operating system okay now from the name only you can understand what is exactly this multi processing operating system now in the previous operating system that we have discussed that is that is the what multi programming means that was the operating system who can handle the multiple programs at a time but now this is the operating system name is what multi processing multi processing in the sense the operating system the particular uh, processing of the job can be done using more than one processors okay so here you can see in uni processor system uni processor means what the computer system which is having only one processor so in uni processor system only one processor is there for execution at a time understood but now the operating system has come which can handle which can allow to utilize the multiple processors okay the operating system which can allow the multiple processor to complete your jobs or the operating system which allow multiple process to complete your work that operating system is called as what the multi processing operating system so same thing it is written here multi processing is the use of two or more cpus or multi processing is what use of two or more processor within a single computer system and the operating system which support the use of two or more processors within a single computer system that operating system is called as what multi processing operating 
system the same thing you can see here this is a single computer system you can see the only one memory is there only one bus is there out, input output devices but you can see here one two and three processors are there and each processors having their registers cache register cache etc but they are sharing the single memories and the bus and the input output devices so on the single system we there are mul multiple or more than two processors uh, more than two processors are there then that particular operating system is referred as a multi processing operating system so same thing it is written here multi processing is used of two or more cpu or the processor within a single computer system so the operating system which support the two or more processor to handle the large amount of work that operating system is called as multi processing operating system okay the term also refers to the ability of system to support more than one processor within a single computer system the same point we have discussed the ability of operating system to support the more than one processor within a single computer system that operating system that operating system is called as what multi processing operating system okay so now since there are the multiple processors available multiple processors are available then multiple processes can be executed at a time i uh, understood as a multiple processors are available you can have more number of large amount of process can be executed at a time okay so this multi processor of uh, share the computer bus clock memory you, you peripheral devices like input output devices etc so that is exactly the multi processing operating system so as compared with the multi programming operating system you must have got the difference in the multi -pro multi programming operating system that operating system was also supporting the multiple programs to be get executed at a time but one through the only one processor but this operating system is supporting the more than one processor to handle the large amount of jobs or large amount of processes multiple amount of processes okay now based on its functionality and the structure the advantages and disadvantages are there related with the multi processing operating system okay so one is the most obvious uh, advantage is that is nothing but the high throughput means high throughput so what is mean by the throughput throughput is the number of process executed by the cpu at a given time okay so this type of system has a higher throughput means maximum output you can get within a less amount of time that is in short the meaning of high throughput what maximum amount of output you can get within a less amount of time reason behind that there are the more there are more than one processors are there okay in case of multi processing operating system then next advantage is less electricity use so in a single processor system there is a more load as many processes have to be executed at a time by the single processor but in case of the multi processor system execution of multiple process is done within a less time okay in case of the multi processing system large amount of work can be get completed within a less time that is its meaning is what in multi processor cpu consume the low electricity than the single processor what is the reason behind that reason behind that is what in case of the single processor having the large amount of work in case of the single processor having the large amount of work that is the reason large electricity uses is there but in case of the multi processing even the work is large multiple process are there so work get completed within a less time understood and that is the reason in case of the multi processing operating system less electricity uses is there and third and the important advantage is what as more work is completed by the cpu this system are economically good okay so you can get maximum out output your maximum work will get completed within a less time and that is the reason uh, it is economical okay uh, it is not too costly or the cheaper because you are getting the maximum output within a less time understood so these are the some advantages related to the multi processing operating system and then uh, we have the disadvantages also there so one of on first disadvantage is there that is what Uh, as the multiple processes are communicating with each other so the operating system implementation is complex to handle as you can see the multiple processor are there as the multiple processors are communicating uh, to handle the such kind of operating system is quite difficult or complex so that is the first uh, 
disadvantages related with the difficulty in handling the communication of processor as you can see uh, multiple processors are get utilized to process the multiple pros, uh, jobs as you can see the multiple jobs can be handled because of the multiple processors definitely the more memory is going to be required so that is also the disadvantage as there are the multi processors are working with each other so the each processor needs the memory space so memory is uh, primary memory requirement is more then performance if any processor fail to work then work is divided into the other processor the bad effect will be that work will be complete in high time and performance of the system is affected now what happen in case of multi processing operating system we divide the work within a different processor we divide the work within a different processor so if one of that processor uh, get fail then extra load may come on the another processor and you you may you may not get the output within a uh, particular time okay you may not get the output within a less time when when the some processor get fail okay and uh, price of such kind of operating system is very high so that is uh, expensive okay this type of operating system are expensive to buy as compared with our normal operating system okay so as you know with each advantage some kind of disadvantage also comes so that is about the multi processing operating system and how it works its advantage disadvantage etc okay then fourth kind of operating system we have uh, that is the uh, time sharing operating system okay now if you now before this already uh, we have discussed the uh, multi programming operating system okay as a uh, second type of uh, operating system now here we have the fourth operating system that is the time sharing operating system okay so time sharing operating system is also considered as a extension of multi programming operating system extension in the sense it is a uh, next version of uh, multi programming operating system okay that is the reason here i have mentioned as you can see time sharing is the logical extension of multi programming okay so what exactly happen in the time sharing operating system that you can easily see here okay from this diagram uh, you can easily understand what exactly is the time sharing operating system okay now you can see there is a cpu and to this cpu multiple users are being shown as a interacting multiple users are connected now what exactly it means now you can see there are the six users are shown now within these six user the cpu is divided cpu is divided means the cpu time is divided within these six users okay so that is nothing but what cpu time is divided between the different users okay means cpu is shared between the different users based on some specific time what cpu is being divided between the different user based on some time slot so that kind of operating system is called as time sharing operating system the same thing i have mentioned time sharing is a logical extension of multi programming because in the multi programming also there is a single cpu share here also the single cpu share but in this time sharing operating system many users or process or process are allocated are allocated with the computer resource in respective time slot means what this many users with many process are allocated are allocated with some specific time slot means what each user can access the cpu at particular time slot only understood so what is the difference between this operating system and the multi programming what user in case of multi programming operating system user can access the cpu at any time for for any amount of time but that is not the case in case of the time sharing operating system okay here case is the what user has given the particular time slot and that and that at that particular time slot only the user can have access to the cpu or the processor so similarity between the multi programming and the time sharing is what there is a sharing of single cpu single processor 
but difference is what in case of the multi programming user can interact with the cpu or user can communicate with the cpu at any time to complete the work but here user can communicate with the cpu or the processor at particular time slot so that is the exactly difference so here i have mentioned in this the processor time is shared with the multiple users that is why this operating system is called as the time sharing operating system so if six users want to execute their processes then for that six processes the processor time is get shared and that is the reason this operating system is called time sharing operating system okay so in case of this operating system there is a fixed time slice for different processes each processes will get the different time slice or the time slot and that particular time slot only that process can utilize the cpu or the processor but that is not the case in case of the multi programming operating system there is a, in case of the multi programming operating system there is a no fixed time slice or the time slot for different processes any processes can uh, uh, utilize the cpu at any time understood but in case of the time sharing there is a fixed time slot and at that time slice only the different process can utilize the uh, cpu or can uh, share the cpu and complete their work okay so here also another difference so from this we can make the another difference the main difference between the multi programming system and the time sharing system is that in multi programming system the main aim is to maximize the processor's use the main aim of the multi programming operating system that we have discussed main aim is what in case of the multi programming operating system the cpu should never remain idle what the cpu should never remain idle okay so main aim of the multi programming operating system is nothing but what to keep the cpu busy or the processor busy every time so if the cpu remains busy every time that is nothing but the called as the maximum utilization of processor so that was the aim in case of the multi programming operating system but in case of time of time sharing operating system the main aim is to minimize the response time what minimize the response time means minimize the response time means to speed up the processing to get the response within very less amount of time that is the main aim of the time sharing operating system the main of the multi programming operating system was to increase the maximum utilization of processor but here in case of the time sharing operating system the main aim is, aim is what to minimize the response system to speed up the processing okay to speed up the processing of the different processes that is being provided by the user okay so that is nothing but the time sharing operating system exactly okay so here you can see uh, a time sharing operating system is a multitasking operating system in which the cpu time is divided equally among all the jobs waiting for the time on the cpu as you can see the cpu time is divided equally among all the users it is not like that user 5 will get the large amount of time and user 4 will get the less amount of time time it is not like that but in case of the multi programming operating system it can happen because main aim in case of the multi programming operating system is what maximize the utilization of cpu but here in case of the time sharing operating system the main aim is what improve the response time increase the speed of processing so that is the reason cpu is equally divided cpu is equally divided among the all the processes and the user you and with the help of what with the help of some time slice or the time slot so what is that time slice exactly that time slice is used to be from 10 to the 100 microseconds so accordingly the time slice is given to the each user or the process okay so in this figure you can see the user 5 is in the active state but user 1 2 3 and 4 are in the waiting state user 1 2 3 and 4 are in the waiting state user 5 in the active state okay and user 6 in the ready state okay now what exactly is the meaning of all these things uh, these uh, different kind of state that i have mentioned here as you can see the user 5 in the active state active state the user program is under the control of cpu only one program is available in this state active state in the sense currently cpu is executing cpu currently the meaning of that is what uh currently here you can see currently 
cpu is executing the user five process that is the meaning ready state the user program is in the ready state to execute but is waiting for its turn to get the cpu more than one user can be in the ready state so here only one user is there in the ready state that is the user 6 means he is waiting for its time user 6 is waiting for the its time okay so the process who are waiting for its time they can be in the ready state okay then waiting state so these all the four process are process are in the waiting state so the user program is waiting for some input output operation means this user 1 2 3 4 they may requiring they may requiring some input output devices and they re, uh, waiting for their input out operation to be get performed okay after their input output operation will be get performed after that they will enter into the ready state and then after that they will enter into the active state so in this way that is the whole scenario of the time sharing operating system how the time is get share between the different users uh, you, uh, with the help of the time slice and uh, accordingly how the uh, different users can access the cpu that everything we have discussed okay accordingly different states are being represented here okay so that is exactly is the time sharing operating system okay now based on that there are the some advantage disadvantage are being given okay so as in case of the time sharing operating system each user get the equal amount of time okay so that is the reason response is quickly in case of the time sharing operating system okay response is quickly because each user get the equal amount of share of the cpu it is not like that user 4 will get the high amount of cpu time or user 5 will get the less amount of time it is not like that everyone will get the equal amount of cpu time that is the reason everybody can get you get the result quickly that is the reason here i have mentioned the advantage of quick response all the tasks are given specific time each every every task will given the specific time to uh, use the cpu and that is the reason there is a improvement in the response time okay but that is not the case in case of the multi programming operating system in the multi programming operating system some task may get the cpu for longer time some task may get for the less amount of time that okay etc etc because uh, in case of the multi programming operating system also there is utilization of single cpu only and in case of the time sharing also there is utilization of single cpu only difference is what here cpu can get uh, here the users or process can get access to the cpu based on the time slide based on the time slice or the based on their particular time in case of the multi programming operating system user or process can get access to the cpu every time whenever they want okay now disadvantage is also there in case of the time sharing operating system disadvantage is what it consume the much resources okay means it consume the uh, maximum amount of resources okay as time is being shared between the different users required a high specification of hardware means it required the processor with the high configuration with high specification as compared with the multi program operating system then there is also the concerns related to the security of this operating system there is a problem in the security related to the time sharing operating system and there is a probability of data communication problem also why there is there can be a probability of data communication because cpu time is getting shared between the different users okay and uh, because of that uh, switching from one user to the another user according to the time slots according to the time slice if not happen properly then communication problem may comes as you know here in case of the time sharing operating system this single cpu share between the different users okay so once the uh, one user time get finished then automatically the cpu should uh, get assigned to the another user likewise this should happen okay but if it not happen properly then that is considered as a uh, communication problem and such kind of communication problem may come in case of the time sharing operating system so uh, as you know the uh, there are a the lot of advantages and all the also the disadvantages also there okay so then uh, based on all this discussion uh, we have the difference uh, between the uh, time sharing operating system and the multi programming operating system so question always being asked on the differences between this kind of operating system so that i am mentioning here 
okay that uh, points already we have discussed just we have put down it in the uh, comparative form okay so i just read the differences so time sharing is the logical extension of multi programming that i already told you i already i told you in this time sharing operating system many users or the processes are allocated with the computer resources in respective time slot each user uh, can get the access to the processor with their time slot in multi program operating system allow uh, multi programming operating system allow us to execute the multiple processes by monitoring the by monitoring their processes state and switching between the processes okay there is no time slot time slice time slot etc processors time is share with the multiple users that is why it is called as a time sharing operating system okay cpu time is shared with the multiple users that is the reason it, its name is what time sharing okay processors and memory utilization problem is resolved and multiple programs runs on the cpu multiple programs can run on cpu at a time that is the reason it is called as multi programming operating system okay in this process two or more users can use the processor in their terminal means more than two two or more than two users can uh, utilize, uh, can use the processor uh, in the terminal okay according to their time slot in this the process can execute by a single process okay uh, in this case the process can be executed by the single processor next time sharing operating system has a fixed time slice multi programming os has no fixed time slice that is the major difference okay in time sharing operating system execution power is taken off before the finishing of execution in multi programming os system before finishing a task the execution power is not taken off okay here the system works for the same or less time on each processes okay here the system works for the same or less time on each processes here the system does not take same time to work on different processes okay so here same time is given for each process but here it, it is not the case uh, for some process time may be give, time may be more for some process time may be less for the execution in time sharing operating system uh, de it depends on the uh, depends on time to switch between the different processes main multi program operating system a system depends on devices to switch between the tasks such as the input output interrupts okay so in case of uh, time sharing operating system the switching from one process to the another process will happen based on the time slice to access the uh, processor but in case of the multi program operating system uh, switching from one process to the other uh, another process to access the processor or cpu is based on some interruption based on some input output interruption means what for example there is a process p1 process p1 is uh, utilizing the processor okay and there is another process p2 who also want to utilize the processor then processor uh, process p2 can utilize the processor when process p1 will uh, go for some input output operation that whenever the process p1 has to complete some input output operation then interruption will come so when the interruption will come at the same time process p2 will give us the chance to execute by using that particular processor so that is the reason here it is being mentioned in multi programming os the system depends on the devices to switch between the tasks such as the input output interrupts whenever the input output interrupts happen another process will get chance to execute with the processor but here it is that is not the case it depends on the time once the one process time will finish another process will get chance to execute with the processor but here it, it that is not depend on the time slice or the time slot it is depends on the input output interrupts for that particular process okay in case of the time sharing operating system the system model of time sharing system is multiple programs and multiple users system model of multi program system is a multiple programs okay time sharing system maximize the response time it uh, maximize the response time in the sense you can get the result of your uh, operation within a less amount of time multi programming system maximize the maximize the uh, 
here uh, same thing is written here in time sharing maximize the response time multi program system maximize the cpu utilization here must be the cpu utilization okay multi programming maximize the response time also and it also maximize the cpu utilization also okay example of time sharing operating system are windows nt and example of multi uh, programming operating system are there like uh, mac operating system and number of uh, windows operating system are also there which is being considered as a multi programming operating system okay so that is all about the uh, different types of operating system so today we will discuss about the two important types of two important types of, sorry four important types of the operating system that are batch operating system multi programming operating system multi processor and the time sharing operating system i hope all of you understood this okay so if you have any doubt related with this you can comment me in the comment box i will definitely answer all the doubts okay thank you all of you Thank you.